Tom, your company is using synthetic biology to make products. What exactly is that and how does it work? The ability to apply the same sorts of techniques that we apply to programming computers to the goal of programming not the instructions of computers, but the instructions that living cells use to do all of the things that they do on a, a routine basis. A specific example might be that you know we have a fairly significant project where we are trying to engineer development of cannabinoids. The idea basically is to take the instructions that a cannabis plant uh, has internally and to transfer those instructions to more engineering capable organisms like yeast, for example, uh, and to then be able to brew the yeast in the same way that we would brew beer, but instead of getting alcohol and beer out of that, we instead get you know, useful chemicals, in this case, chemicals that might have a medicinal application. Why is it more beneficial using this process as opposed to more traditional means? One of the things to realize is that traditional manufacturing only addresses a very small fraction of what we actually use on a routine basis. The vast majority of things that we routinely use in the world are made biologically. Uh, all of our food is developed, of course, with, with biology as a, as a basic core technology. Many of our important uh, products, such as wood, are biologically derived. Anything that we can do that improves the technology of building those products is going to be very beneficial over the long term. We think that this is going to be the most important technology, certainly of this century, and uh, anticipate uh, you know, huge, huge productivity improvements as a result of this technology over the next several years. How do you see technologies like machine learning and artificial intelligence working in tandem with synthetic biology? The main application that we see right now for AI is in carefully trying to analyze what's happening in these biological systems and in uh, helping us better design the, the kinds of, uh, of DNA that, that goes into these cells. It's probably only about a 10% of the effort that goes into the things that we actually engineer on a routine basis, but it can be a very important part. Some people are a little wary of modified products. How do you get them on board with your technology? Well, one of the things I think that we're fighting against is that most consumers uh, don't really see the benefits. Another thing, very important thing, I think, to understand and that we're trying to get across to our customers is that, you know, this is simply the most recent way in which we're starting to engineer biology. You know, humans have been engineering biology for thousands of years. The cob of corn, which you eat on a, on a routine basis, bears a very, very little resemblance to the corn which came out of Mexico thousands of years ago. We're simply getting better at that. We're getting better at understanding how that happens, uh, why that's effective, and bringing to bear you know, very sophisticated engineering technology, which lets us do that better and more cost-effectively.